Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Ian Talk. As always, I'm your host Ian, and today, I've got something different. Today, I'll be combining Korean movies with another Korean industry that's taking the world by storm. K-pop! K-pop, or Korean pop, has gained massive interest and popularity globally and is one of the crucial reasons why K-dramas and movies have also been so internationally widespread. And we've got the idols, or the K-pop singers, who have crossed into the field of acting to thank for that as well. Therefore, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at 10 idols who've also successfully ventured into the field of acting. Before getting into the video, I'd like to set the criteria of the rankings. I put the most emphasis on idol turned actors in K-movies. While I do acknowledge that there are a ton of great and talented idols in K-dramas, I put more emphasis on those that starred in Korean movies specifically, as this is a K-movie channel after all. Therefore, although there are idols that starred in numerous K-dramas, if they didn't star in or only starred in one or two movies, then they wouldn't have made it on this list. If you would like another video with more idol turned actors, let me know in the comments and I can make a sequel. Also, the idol's acting talent and performance was considered as well. And most importantly, the ranking is based on my personal opinions and are totally subjective and biased towards my thoughts. Okay then, without further ado, let's get into the list of my top 10 idol turned actors. Starting off the list, the first idol turned actor I've selected was Seoryeon. Seoryeon is a female idol from the group AOA or Ace of Angels who debuted in July of 2012. Seoryeon starred in the movies The Great Battle, More of a Murderer, Gangnam Blues, and most recently made a special cameo in P1H. She made her K-movie debut with Gangnam Blues, released in 2015, and her acting debut with the K-drama Seoyoung, My Daughter, which aired in 2012. She's also starred in other K-dramas such as Awaken, My Country The New Age, Orange Marmalade, and Ugly Alert. Seoryeon not only starred in movies and K-dramas, but also became one of the hottest stars in variety shows as well as commercials. My personal favorite movie she starred in was The More of a Murderer. Next, the number 9 idol turned actor that I chose was Soo-young. Soo-young is another massively popular female idol who made her debut in 2007 with arguably one of the biggest girl groups in Korea, Girls' Generation. Girls' Generation is one of the most popular K-pop girl groups that paved the way for others from one of the big three companies in the industry, SM Entertainment. Soo-young starred in the movies Miss and Mrs. Cop, Memories of a Dead End, and Hello School Girl. She made her movie debut with Hello School Girl back in 2008, in which she had a minor role, and her overall acting debut with the K-drama Unstoppable Marriage, which aired in 2007. She's also starred in many other K-dramas like Run On, Tell Me What You Saw, Man in the Kitchen, Squad 38, My Spring Days, Dating Agency Serrano, and The Third Hospital. I'm personally looking forward to an upcoming film of hers, titled New Ear Blues, which was supposed to release in December of 2020, but was delayed due to the pandemic. Moving along, the number 8 idol turned actor I've picked was Top, aka Choi Seung Hyun. Top is an idol from the legendary group Big Bang, who debuted in August of 2008, which is the oldest on this list. This makes him the idol with the longest experience, or the sambe of all else on this list. As with Girls' Generation from the previous idol, Big Bang is an extremely popular and talented group that has immense influence even till this day and definitely paved the road for following idols. The group was formed by another company from the Big 3, YG Entertainment, and top starred in movies such as Tatsa The Hidden Card, Commitment, and 71 Into the Fire, and made his K-movie debut with 71 Into the Fire, which released in 2010. However, he made his acting debut with the K-drama I Am Sam, which was broadcasted in 2007. Top also starred in other K-dramas such as Secret Message and Iris, the latter being one of my personal favorite K-dramas in general. And as for my favorite movie he starred in, I thought he was excellent in the war film 71 Into the Fire. The number 7 idol turned actor I selected for this list was Yuna. Yuna is another idol from the previously mentioned group Girls' Generation and starred in the films Exit, Confidential Assignment, and an upcoming movie titled Miracle. She made her K-movie debut with Confidential Assignment in 2017, but her official acting debut 10 years prior with the K-drama Two Outs in the Ninth Inning, which aired in 2007. Not only this, but she's been in numerous other K-dramas such as Hush, The King in Love, The K2, Prime Minister and I, Love Rain, Cinderella Man, and 
You Are My Destiny. And although she received a lot of criticism for her acting, I thought she was excellent in the 2019 film, Exit, which was my favorite amongst her movies. Moving on to the number 6 idol turned actor, the 6th idol I picked was Mino or Che Mino from the group SHINee. Another group from SM Entertainment, SHINee gained extreme popularity right from their debut which was in May of 2008. Mino starred in the K-films Battle of Jiangsari, Ilang the Wolf Brigade, and Derailed and made his movie debut with Canola in 2016. As for his overall acting debut, he first appeared in a drama special titled Pianist in 2010. Some of his other K-drama works include The Most Beautiful Goodbye, Somehow 18, Hwarang the Poet Warrior Youth, My First Time, Medical Top Team, To the Beautiful You, and Salamander Guru in the Shadows. My personal favorite movie of his is the crime action film Derailed. Now going into the top 5, the number 5 idol turned actor I chose for this list was Juno. Juno, or Lee Juno, is from the group 2PM, a boy group made by the third from the Big 3, JYP Entertainment, which made their debut in September of 2009. Juno starred in the cave films Om Fatale, Memories of the Sword, and 20, and he made his movie debut with Cold Eyes in 2013. This was also his acting debut, but he also starred in the K-dramas Confession, Walk of Love, Rain or Shine, Good Manager, and Memory Highlights. From humorous to more serious roles, Juno played a lot of diverse roles, but my favorite has to be his comedic film, 20, from 2015. The next idol turned actor I've selected was Lee Jun. Lee Jun is an idol from the group M Black, which debuted in 2009. There was massive hype surrounding the debut of this group as the producer was one of the biggest idols himself during that time, Rain. Ijun starred in the films Lucky, The Piper, and Rough Play and was a voice actor in the prequel to Train to Busan, Soul Station. What's interesting with Ijun is that he actually made his acting debut prior to his idol debut, playing the younger role of Rain in Ninja Assassin. He not only starred in movies but also K-dramas including My Father is Strange, Woman with a Suitcase, The Vampire Detective, Heard It Through the Grapevine, Mr. Back, Kapdong, Iris 2, and Jungle Fish 2. My favorite movie he starred in was Lucky. Moving along, the third idol I picked that ventured into the world of acting was Suzy. Pei Suji first made her TV appearance in the audition show Superstar K, which caught the eyes of JYP and made her debut with the girl group Miss Say in July of 2010. Suji starred in the movies Ashfall, The Sound of a Flower, and has an upcoming film titled Wonderland. She made her movie debut with the film Architecture 101, released in 2012, and her acting debut with the K drama Dream High, which aired in the same year. Suji also starred in K dramas Vagabond, While You Were Sleeping, Uncontrollably Fond, Goo Family Book, Big, and of course, the recent K drama that had immense global popularity, Startup. My personal favorite movie of Suji is the melodrama Architecture 101. And now, just two picks left. The number 2 idol turned actor I chose for my list of top 10 is Im Shi Wan. From the boy group Chea or Chekuge Idol, Im Shi Wan made his entertainment debut in 2010. Shi Wan is one of the most talented actors starring in the movies The Merciless, One Line, A Melody to Remember, and The Attorney, and has upcoming movies titled Emergency Declaration and Boston 1947. He made his movie debut in 2013 with the well received The Attorney and his overall acting debut with the K drama Moon Embracing the Sun, which aired in 2012. He's got a long list of K dramas he starred in as well, such as Run On, Strangers from Hell, The King in Love, Triangle, Waiting for Love, Stand By, Man from the Equator, and my favorite, Bi Seng. My favorite movie that he starred in has to be The Attorney. And finally, the number one idol turned actor that I selected for this list. My number one pick of idol turned actors was Dio. Dio, aka Togyung Su, is from the group EXO, which debuted in April of 2012. Produced by SM Entertainment, EXO is one of the biggest idol groups having numerous talented members, and Dio is one that crossed into the field of acting and has been absolutely killing it. Starring in the films Unforgettable, My Annoying Brother, Room Number 7, the two along with the God movies, Swing Kids, and being a voice actor in Underdog, Dio made his movie and overall acting debut with the film Cart in 2014. He has the longest list of movies and has also starred in the K-dramas It's Okay That's Love, 100 Days My Prince, Be Positive, and Hello Monster. 
He's been serving in the mandatory Korean military, but will be discharged later this month on January 25th. My personal favorite movie he starred in was the surprisingly underrated film, Swing Kids, and I'm definitely looking forward to his future works once he returns to the entertainment world. And that's it for today's video on Top 10 Idol Turn Actors. Remember, there are a lot of other great idol turned actors, but this list was totally subjective to my opinion and was based on the idol's filmography, not K-dramas. However, I can make another video with more idol turned actors, and so if you like this hybrid between K-pop and K-movies, let me know in the comments. I'm thinking of having another video with old school idol turned actors soon, so let me know what you think. With that being said, like and subscribe for more K-movie related content and join the Ian Talk Telegram group to further discuss with me and other Korean film enthusiasts. Finally, your support on Patreon would be very helpful for me in making more content. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.